Now, look, it's not just the euro um, that's dragging, is it? The, the EU elections driving volatility um, across the globe and emerging currencies in particular. Yes, but uh, I wouldn't be too obsessed with what happens in one day after we receive the results because markets react and then they react in the opposite direction the following day. So although there might have been some slippage today, don't expect it to be an enduring phenomenon. So th this market's reaction to, to the elections drama, you, you feel it, it's knee-jerk or, or do you think there maybe are some real concerns around risks of interventionist economic policies and, and maybe stronger regulation now? I think you need to go back to what these election results tell us. Uh, the initial reaction has been, oh, it's a victory for the far right. In fact, it's not. In fact, it's a, it's a victory for the centre in European politics. And therefore, once they've digested the fact that the far right has made marginal gains, they'll notice the splits among the far right in the European Parliament and realise that the, the four centrist parties, the four pro-European parties, still have 63% of the seats in, in the new European Parliament. Therefore, we shouldn't expect massive uh, disruption in the, in the way policies are conducted. But let's talk about the state of the Eurozone economy, because it stagnated towards the end of, well, in the second half of 2023. And I wonder what impact the fallout of these EU elections is going to, to have. Is it going to further cloud the outlook? Well, if you take my thesis, no. There's no reason for the uh, result of the European Parliament elections to alter the trajectory of economies. But also you have to recognize that the economies that have suffered most, and in particular Germany, result from particular factors. And in this case, the, the Germans have, have been upset by the, the fact that they've had to much, pay much higher prices for energy. They're in the middle of an energy transition, which is difficult, and they're worried about their export markets. Look elsewhere, like Greece or Italy, and the economy is doing surprisingly well. So again, the, the change emanating from this change in the European Parliament is not going to be massive in affecting the economy. And does that follow in terms of where the EU stands in, in terms of trade um, with, with China, with the US, with, with other parts of the world? Is it going to be business as usual? I think it's going to be very much business as usual. And here we have to be honest about what difference the European Parliament makes under any circumstances. It's only one of a number of institutions which uh, run the European Union. The critical one for trade, in particular for other parts of the world, is the European Commission. The outcome of this European Parliament election is likely to be that Ursula von der Leyen will be reappointed as Commission President. And we wait to see who the commissioners are from other countries. But that suggests to me stability more than disruption. I know I'm sounding a bit like a broken record here, but I think we have to be reasonably careful about how we interpret what looks like dramatic results, which I am arguing are not.